Oh, crap. I'm stuck. <laughs> there we go. Hello, hello, and welcome to Paddling Places, Florida. I'm your host, Mr. D. So, hey, let's get this thing in the water. Now, a word from our sponsor. Cast Elements is the leader in design and manufacturing of inflatable kayaks with cutting-edge technology and providing excellent customer service. All of their products are designed to give paddlers the tools they need at a value they deserve. Check them out at advancedelements.com or call toll-free at 866-262-9076. Hello and welcome all my friends. Hey, today I've started the process of uh, testing all the inflatables getting ready for season six season six is just a few weeks away i mean like six weeks away I, it's getting pretty close uh and now that depends on weather too uh if it starts getting uh cooler quicker then the season will start quicker and if it's later then it'll be later so right now i'm, I'm scheduling it for around october uh middle of october somewhere so what i'm doing now is basically just testing gear uh Today I'm out in the, uh, what is it, uh, 3029 or the Air Evolution, uh, testing it, making sure everything is okay. You know, I already did all of the cleaning and uh, waterproofing and all that stuff. You don't have to do that with the Air Evolution, but I do use um, 303 Aerospace Protectant on the Air Evolution, and it helps it beat up and all that kind of stuff and protects it UV-wise and all that kind of thing. So it's really a good product to do. Uh, some of you now are, uh, won't be long and you guys will be putting your kayaks away or be winterizing them. Um, I'm hoping that some of the videos I did over my off season will help you uh, with that. Because while you're sitting in the, in the snow, I'll be out playing. Where I was all jealous during your summer season, uh, which is my hot season, which is crazy. That's my winter is in the summer because it is so ungodly hot. Uh, it's just not fun to get on the water. I mean, it's warm today, trust me. It's probably, oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm looking to see if I can see it anyway. It's around 78. Uh, it's really early in the morning. Sun hasn't been up that long. But the problem is, is the humidity. It'll come and, and get you. So anyway, uh, what we're doing is just kind of paddling around, testing equipment, all that kind of thing like that and making sure everything is working properly. Uh, along with cameras, I did uh, pick up some Freewell filters uh, to work with my Osmo Pocket, and, or Pocket 2 they call it now. And uh, that's to add a little more depth to the shot and stuff like that. Also behind me, I have my uh, uh, Max 360 from GoPro. Uh, that's taking the place of four different cameras, which is really gonna be cool this season. And Basically, that's about it. All I'm going to do right now, that bird is always on that same branch. Um, all I'm doing basically is just making sure I have no air loss, uh, anything like that, and uh, any damage as far as fraying with, the, uh, with my tethers or my grips or anything. I mean, that's, that's what I'm looking at now, making sure everything is okay. So anyway, hey, uh, we're going to continue our paddle, uh, of course brought the coffee so hey we'll be back in a bit i just installed a uh a free well filter on the pocket too i've got the nd 16 cpl and that's a polarizing filter you can adjust it around uh i set it where i normally set it and i didn't like the result this one looks pretty pretty good i like the way it adds some enrichment to the sky what I want to do is kind of eliminate the need to do colorizing uh, when I'm in post-production. So that's what 
the reason for the filters. This is the what they call the bright filter kit. This is for when you're in bright conditions, and most of the time being on water, it's always bright. Uh, I go from a, uh, what is it, 4, 8, 16, and 32 and the uh, the 32 will be in extremely bright days. Uh, I figured the 16 would work this morning. It does knock the sun down, or the sun glare, quite a bit. Now I can adjust this. You can see the blue on the corner of that shot. I'm not really happy with that, so I'm going to see what I can do to adjust it. Okay, now let's raise this up. Not enough. Ooh, that looks pretty good. That doesn't look too bad. What the uh, polarizing filter does, or CPL, that's an adjustable polarizing kit, and it's uh, what it does it. It enables me to take the glare out and uh, tone down the, the brightness of the sky, which you can see I've done here. Um, I'm using, again, I'm using the ND16 CPL, and which is, which is really cool. Um, it's just finding the right position for the adjustments to get the uh, enhancements I'm looking for. There's that bird. Anyway, uh, what I'm doing today is just kind of testing some of these filters out and see how they work. And uh, now I'm gonna drop the uh, 360 camera in and get some shots doing that. So let me shut this off. No, I'm gonna actually turn it around. Well guys, what I'm gonna be doing this season, suggested by viewers is to show some more of the uh, behind the scenes stuff. Uh, there's a lot that goes on. So uh, I'm actually gonna do that right now. I'm gonna set up the, um, the 360 floating tripod. And you can guys can see how I do that. Now I have it connected with a bungee system back here, which I just disconnected. And okay. And as you can see, that's right here. And what I gotta do is straighten the boat out a little bit first before I launch this thing. Alright, then what I do basically is uh Go ahead and fire it off. I'm gonna lift this. What I'm doing now is straightening the camera and then raise this up and then basically just put it in the water. Now it's behind me, so what I'm going to do now is switch over to the GoPro application and find that camera. There it is, control your GoPro. And then I'm going to switch it over to 360 mode and uh, what I've got to do is set this up. To where the application will let me operate the camera from the craft and that's what i'm doing right now and it's just saying connecting sometimes it takes a while sometimes it's quick okay i've got a great picture here now what i'm going to do is where there's a little camera right here i'm going to change that to a globe and now i'm in 360 mode and then hit record and that's it now i can't see it it won't enable preview but what it will do is uh, is record the 360. So what I'm going to do is get up here, turn around a little bit, and do a couple of paddle buys, and I'm going to reach up here because I can't operate both at the same time. Two different applications. There, I'm going to spin that around so you guys can see the floating tripod, and then how I get those paddle by shots. So I'll get up close like this. Now this particular setup, you can't go too high, but this will be high enough for me to attain 
the goals I'm looking for in getting the shots I want. And it's just hanging out there. What's so great about the 360, I had four cameras before. And it was north facing north, south, north, south, east, and west. And the problem with that was if I wasn't in the right spot, it wouldn't pick me up, even though I had four cameras on there. The 360 camera, it doesn't really care where I'm at. It's going to pick me up because it's 360 degrees. Now I got to go pick this up because it's getting close to going into the trees. But that should be enough for my testing here. Ah, oh, crap, I'm in the trees. <laughs> See, everything don't go good. <laughs> Well, fortunately, the branch that I ran into just pushed me the other way. Oh, crap. I'm stuck. <laughs> All right, guys, hey, we are going to wrap this one up. Uh, everything checked out. The air evolution is sound, solid. Uh, it, no, no problems at all uh, from storage or anything like that. So I'm pretty pleased with that. Uh, everything else checked out perfectly, um, except me running into that tree branch. That was funny. Knocked my Camry all skyly wampus and all kinds of crazy stuff. Well, anyway, I will be continuing my preseason checks i probably won't do videos on on uh, many of those but i am going to be testing out the sport the 1044 the elite and uh, then my sister's air evolution her sport and i've already done this air evolution so i still got a few i got to get through uh, once we get all that done uh, they've all been waterproofed and cleaned and uh, prepped so it's kind of coming out of uh my winterizing which is summarizing storage so they'll be all ready to go we're hoping that everything checks out okay so hey we'll see you on the next one